KD for the Wealth Wells here. I've got a problem trading puts. I cannot trade puts or I'm always losing when I trade puts. Have you heard that before or better yet? Have you said that? I had a trader in a one-on-one -on -one training uh, discuss this with me. We formulated a plan to help him. Now he's already showing improvements. I thought it would be nice to give you some, not all, but some of the tips as time permits on how to trade puts or when you have a, a technical or a mental roadblock. All right. So we're going to discuss that right now. Puts, how to trade them when you have a roadblock or some type of mental block for when, some type of trading setup and you can't get past it, especially for new traders. All right. So let's get to that right now. How do we fix it? What's the plan of action going for? We're going to discuss that right now. What causes it? All right. Before you get going here, of course, this video is for the killer wells, those inside of the tiered access inside of my discord. All right. I put it on YouTube because it's the best and easiest way for everybody to watch it. So do yourself a favor, come into the discord. First thing I want you to do is click the testimonials and read what folks are saying about this discord and why it's different from others. Okay. Then after that, I want you to get training, get the courses here and then join tier three, right? Tier three is where uh, the serious traders hang out, where I give my call outs, where I give all of my uh, futures trades, swings trades, all that cool stuff, ad hoc training, uh, live training right on the spot. They all get that here. All right. And then you can like and subscribe to this video and uh, find out uh, the Wealth Wells podcast. We also have those channels uh, situated here for you for video trainings here. Okay. Once you need to, you know, when you get in there, you can understand how to or really watch those videos there. And then the podcast channel is right here. Okay, so let's get to it here. Uh, we're talking about puts now. I had a trader, uh, someone in a one-on-one talk to me about that, and we formulated a plan. All right, so we're on SPY on the five-minute here. Okay, now, uh, if you don't know, uh, this is the volume profile, the Wealth Wells volume profile and the Wealth Wells VVP indicator. All right, the link for the indicators will be inside the, di uh, the Discord and attached to this video. All right, so this is going to give us our, our levels here. Now, now, for the sake of a long, drawn out conversation and video, I am going to disappear, uh, vanish, uh, hide uh, the VVP indicator. All right, we're going to assume that you have a chart that just looks like this. You got a couple of levels. You've got a couple of areas of interest, uh, things like that. If you don't know what the area of interest are, then uh, again, on, attached to the video somewhere, you there's a there's training links there. My training is up here. The areas of interest training is there, right? It's at the top of the stack here. You can take that at your leisure. All right, but this gray shaded area is an area of interest. All right, so now some traders, um, uh, let's just you know hide that too. Some traders. They do not, um, they, they, they're, they're not comfortable fading stocks, right? They're not comfortable taking directions to the downside. Now, for whatever reason, sometimes they, they it's all psychological for sure. And there, there are some other skill development opportunities there too, but they don't, uh, they don't feel comfortable taking puts to, taking puts or taking the moves to the downside. All right. So if you have a problem trading puts and for whatever reason, all right, the first thing we need to understand is why, why do you have a problem trading puts? All right. Well, I'm going to give you uh, a few, a few reasons why people have a problem trading puts. Um, and it's all psychological. All right. Psychological. Right. So the, the first reason is fear of loss uh, because it's, it's almost like, when you're falling subconsciously, uh, you, you, when a person is walking on the street, they know that the ground is going to be beneath their feet. But, uh, at any moment when they feel that they, they, their feet, their ground is, is, you know, has been removed from them and they, they can't get their footing. For example, a person that's on an airplane or you're on a roller coaster, it gets this, this butterfly feeling, this pit in your stomach. Well, they can't get their footing. They can't really get their bearings. And, uh, and sometimes with traders, psychologically, you can't understand exactly where you're going. You don't feel like you're in control. Now, it really doesn't make any sense because to the upside, you feel like you're in control. So one of the major reasons why traders cannot trade puts is because they have a fear of losing but more importantly, they 
aren't in control. They do not feel that like they're in control, okay? So you have to analyze why you don't feel like you're in control. Well, primarily because you're elementary and your skills need to be developed. That's everyone when we first start. Don't worry about that. That'll happen. But that's the primary reason. Now, we could talk about that later in the Mindset Mondays, in our podcast, all that cool stuff to help you with the mental aspect. But that's the reason why you can't trade puts, right? So there are four things that come into play for a trader when they want to improve their ability to trade puts, to trade moves to the downside. Now, quite frankly, the moves to the downside historically happen more aggressively and faster than the moves to the upside. So a lot of times, because of a lack of experience, a trader isn't ready for the quickness and the, the fast action to the downside. So that makes you nervous. This, you know, you know, this thing is going to take the, the, you know, the window down and the <laughs> escalator up. That's just how it works, right? When the sale orders kick in in the market, when the the pockets of uh, the areas of interest of the pockets of sale orders are filled here, this thing is dropping. And these can, quite frankly, be the more profitable trades that you're going to take. But uh, if you're not familiar with how stocks behave and what causes this movement, you're going to struggle with put puts. So fear of control and the, the quick behavior here, it makes a person nervous. All right. So let me give you four things. All right. I'm going to give you four things that you can do to improve your ability to trade puts. All right. We'll get right to it. Number one readability of the market. You have to understand how to read the market better. Here's a tip to do that. Use multi time frame analysis. Why don't you go out to a higher time frame, right? Starting with the daily, maybe even the weekly or monthly and use, you can use the, the VVP indicator. We'll show you that in a minute. And you can use the volume profile, uh, volume profile you know, developed by the wealth wells. You don't have to use it, but you can. It's going to give you a clear indication of level two like data, not just overall volume, but buy sell pressure so that you can kind of predict and get a good idea of where we are going. Now, I ask traders this all the time in trainings and inside of the discord. The number one question you should be asking yourself is where are we going now? It is undeniable if you've come into my discord, um, you can check uh, the win percentage. You can check the overall um, consensus of the discord, the, the, the traits are there, the ability to win in the market. You see when I win, you see when I lose, but you can see the overall profits. It's, it's there. So the system that we teach how to trade, it's not a, uh, you know, hard system, but it, it hangs on your ability to understand stocks, understand the market, not, not a one trick pony, but to actually understand the fabric. And if you understand, all right, when the market dumps, it has to go somewhere. There is an actual area of interest and or a level, something that like a magnet is pulling the market. If you understand that, you believe that, you've seen that, you've traded that over and over, you will begin to build confidence in knowing where we're going. Thus, you will lose the fear that you have with the lack of control there, and you will begin to lean into or enjoy the quickness of these moves because you'll get a good entry, all right? So the first thing you need to do to help you with understanding how to trade puts, go out to a higher time frame, improve your readability of the market, your ability to read the market, all right, on all time frames, okay? After you do that, in addition to reading it, you need to be good at having market awareness or understanding market sentiment, meaning where are we going and why? What's driving this stock, the S&P, down to the level that you thought it was going to go to? Is it just falling? Is there some geopolitical news? Is there something happening in the market? Well, every single week, and this is a great, this is a great moment to, 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 to show you this. Every single week, I discuss in our weekly prep, and I, I post it on YouTube. I even post it here in the video trainings channel, right? Prepare well, win big, market prep, and I date it, right? This is this market prep is for the week, and, and today is Monday, okay? I said that the market would pull up to 4417 off of 4380 with a possible low of 4300. 
seven, five. All right. And on top of that, here are my levels. Here are my levels. Now, I did a video recap of this earlier today. All right. And the video recap was right here. This indicator talking about the VVP indicator, the indicator that you, you'll see on your screen. Um, it made us 25K overnight. Now, how did we get that? All right. And and this ties into readability of the market. OK, well, <laughs> we understood that we had key levels and why the market was rejecting. OK, now in a 10, 15 minute video on YouTube, folks, all right, I, I'm going to keep it real with you. You can't really get into the macros of all the things that make the market move. You got to take some training. You don't have to take it from me, but you got to get some development and practice. You got to get some time in the game. Then you have to trust your levels. You have to start to see the market react to your levels. But the reality is we got the move off, off of our levels. It held 4375, 4380. Once it broke, we took it. And guess this level was there. You can verify. You can go look at the, uh, the video here that I, that I posted earlier. Right there, this indicator, or rather prepare well, win big. Uh, the target's there. Okay. So we have strong market awareness. So that when we come to this level, as I stated, I'm fading. I'm going to get into puts. I'm going to short the market. And where am I shorting it to? Right back down to our level of 4404. Okay. So the first, you need to have readability of the market. Second, understand market awareness and market sentiment. Third, you are struggling with puts because you lack targets. You don't know where we're going. If you understand where we're going and the very basics of trading, the stock market moves to specific targets. If you understand that and get that point, <clears throat> this is trained in our training here in uh, pre-market prep. And more importantly, in number two, options, training, market indicators. If you understand that we're not just hanging out, the stock has to, it absolutely 100% has to go to a specific target. If you understand that you'll be able to trade puts better. Okay. The fourth is lack of understanding of how stocks, not the stock, but stocks move. You have to understand how stocks move, what drives the movement. Now, now what's going to help you to do that is a deeper dive into volume, a deeper dive into order flow, which is volume. That's what volume is, right? Orders, right? And a deeper dive into human psychology, right? Whole quarter, half numbers, things like that, right? So when you understand, all right, well, KD talked about us coming off of 4380. We broke through there. Well, you can see right here, notice the type of candles that break through. Very aggressive. This tells me that there is a a rush of volume here, and we most certainly will have some continuation of the upside because I understand and I teach traders how to, and you guys also now in the killer wells, you understand how the stock market moves. That's key. All right. So if you're struggling with puts, here are the four things that will help you. Number one, readability of the market. Learn how to read the market, go to higher time frames understand, get the training, whatever you need from whomever you want to get it from that you trust. That's up to you. Number two, market awareness, market sentiment, understand why we're going there, not just where we're going. Why do I feel confident we're going to get here? What does the market say? Not hopium, not wishing. Number three, lack of targets. Now you develop targets. You understand you don't blindly follow, not even me. You fact check. You verify oftentimes those in the killer wells and the tier three access, you're going to have similar or the exact same levels because you've gone through this training right here where we show you how to chart. And so your levels will align. And then number four, understanding of how the stock market, not this stock only, but how the stock market moves, thus driving you to short or to take puts. If you understand how the fabric of the market moves, then you'll come to one conclusion, and that's this. The stock market does not arbitrarily or randomly stop in any area just because. There is a reason the stock market has to move off of these levels. It's why I do not pattern trade. I do not use supply and demand. I do not use 
any of those lagging indicators. I use something called the volume profile by the Wealth Wells, and I also use the VVP indicator. This is KD in a box. Now, this morning in the early session in my pre-market prep, we talked about uh, the fade down to 4380. We took that. Then we took the run up from 4380 to 25 points, 25K up to 4406. When we saw the rejection there, we took the scalp on down to 4392. We had a, a level appear from the VVP indicator. We ran it back up, ran it down, ran it back up, and then ran it down again. How do we know how to do that? Well, number one, we're not afraid of taking puts, but more importantly, we understand how the market works, all right? That's it. That's the fourth reasons. That's the four things you need to improve on if you've got a problem trading puts. It's been a pleasure talking to you guys. If you want to do a deeper dive and understand really how to understand the market, I'm going to encourage you to click the link attached to the video, get the training that you need. You can also take my setups and understand where we're going. Like and subscribe this video. Check out our other video and come into the Discord. You'll be happy you did, folks. Spend some time reading the testimonials and seeing what other people are doing here and how much they're making and really improving in their skills. It's been a pleasure, guys. Keep crushing it. Thank you.